So today we are going to a temple in a volcano right by a lake. Sounds pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to cycle there. I think it's going to be difficult, but shouldn't be much more difficult than uh, Doi Sitep in Chiang Mai, so we'll see. I think we're just very tired. Uh, the sun has just risen, I think, fairly recently. Oh, look at that. I think we'll take the GoPro, so we'll get some, oh, I'm tired, cycling footage. And don't know what we're going to do when we get there. I don't know if you can swim in the lake. Probably not. Um, but with any luck, we'll have a look around the temple. Uh, yeah. Come along, won't you? killer but we'll see some of the steepest hills I've ever ridden. Look at yeah. your arms, you're sweating off your sun cream. Can you see that? Careful. Might bite you. He's happy. He's yeah, it's really hard to start climbing again because look at this shed in the hill. I probably won't sharpen camera. You can see the distance. You see the road just like falls away there. And we went around a switch that goes up there. before that and then another hill before that. So it's just since we've come out of our house, it's just been hill, 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 yeah. one downhill. That's the first hill I think that's defeated me since I've been here, I think. There, I weren't, right, there weren't hills like that in Thailand. No. It just keeps going on. In Thailand, if there's a hill like that, it lasts about 100 meters, 100 meters yeah. that, and then it stops, and then you have like a, just a gentle climb. Yeah. That's just like, how much do you think that's like 25%, 20%? No, 20. Just like continuous. 15, 20. It's, but it's hard because... I got over, I turn the corner and you think, oh, it's going to flatten out now. And then the hill just goes on. Yeah, because normally you go around a corner and it's like really steep and then it stops. But that was just... Yeah. You are literally dripping sun cream. I know. Let me show this. I can feel it. Look. You're dripping. Right, we need to get on though because otherwise we won't make it. Let's get back on the bike. <laughs> So we've ridden a lot of hills and I don't think once in Thailand we got off our bikes, did I we? I don't remember it. I you? never got off my bike in Thailand, apart from to like have a wait, like a couple times on Doi Satep, maybe I stopped once at the beginning and once we stopped to have a lookout, but like we climbed Mon Cham, uh, Samong, Doi Satep, loads of like hills, mountains. And we've never gotten off our bike and like this and we have 40 cassettes so if you don't know what that means we have mountain bike gearing so it's designed like bigger easier gears so we should have gone and taken the main road because that would have so like if you look on the screen here so the other day when we went to git git sorry about my hairy legs the other day when we went to git git we went up this road so obviously i guess the peak of the mountains here so it kind of goes around as does this road, it kind of goes around and this one. Whereas this just goes straight up. So there's no ease. And I'm, I don't know whether this is just going to carry on steep the whole way or whether it's going to ease up here. I, I think it should ease up here and then it should be like a, maybe another steep bit here. 
I just don't know what to do because I can't cycle that. I say we walk up that hill. And see. And see. Okay. There's some little kids looking at us. Hello. Oh, memories, this would be a good memory. <laughs> I did it. Somehow I did it. And there's more. WTF. It's like a wall. Alex did it. Off the bikes again. Oh yeah, you didn't have much sleep, did you? Yeah. So that's probably why you're feeling worse. Yeah, tucked up in bed by 11. So we just had a conversation with a farmer. He spoke very good English. And he said, it's pretty much like this the whole way. But from my map, normally you can tell when a, a hill is very steep, when it like wind, it's windy and there's lots of switchbacks. And off, there's two more to go, two more switchbacks, and then it's very straight. So I think after the second switchback, it'll be hilly, but it won't be as bad. So yeah, we chose the wrong road because it's a back road, and now it's a gravel road. So they've just drawn a line up the mountain. I guess, as Alex said, it's for all the farmers to get to on their motorbikes. There's a dog on the roof. Oh my goodness. And so it continues. I remember when we complained about the road not being good enough. I thought it'd be a fun adventure. Sorry, it's my fault. The road is now becoming grass. And we're getting barked at every dog. This dog's not happy with us. I'm kind of scared to pass him, he looks really evil. Oh no, he's alright. This boosts my mood a bit. Oh my god, look. Little moo cows and they look like deer. Hello. I want to cuddle you. Hello. You're so cute. Oh. Just keeps on going. <sighs> At least the views are magnificent. Hello. It just never ends. It never ends. Coffee beans. I'm pretty sure. I hope we're back on our bikes for good now. I really, really hope. Are these hydrangeas, is that the word? We have these on our, hello. We have these on our lane at home. Are they hydrangeas, am I thinking the wrong word? You know, they're ones you get in the UK. These blue plants, we have them in, in our, our house. What? I've never been gladder to see tarmac in my entire life. Hello. <laughs> we thought when we hit the main road it'd be fine. It's like, 11, quarter past 11. We left at eight, so that's a long time. I'm very tired. Getting testy now, I need to have something to eat. We've got no drink either, so. You know, you're high up when you look at the edge of a road and it looks like it's going down off the edge of the mountain. There's a school up here. Hello. <laughs> they just said that we are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 We have found Sprite. Oh my god. Right.
The amounts of birds in cages here is heartbreaking. They're everywhere, like everywhere. Every house has them. Like every house has like a few. There's lots of chickens with the wooden baskets over them. And when we were cycling up once, well, cycling, walking, all the goats would like yell at us and they just sounded so upset. They'd be like, meh, meh, like they're like calling like, I don't know, maybe sad. We bought some sweat. <laughs> Didn't have enough. The kids just called Alex big and long. They went big and long. <laughs> they were looking at Alex's legs. <laughs> They're so cheeky. That is the most incredible view I've ever seen in my life because it's down hill. Oh yeah, look at these birds. There's this bird here, an entire like shop selling them with cages and there's loads of these all over Bali. These poor birds. That's gonna have a killer view, isn't it? Wow. No, 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 no. So I actually cannot believe it because we we just got to a crossroads and I said to Alex, it's right, isn't it? Because he'd said to me, there was a switchback and then we were supposed to go right. And he goes, no, no, it says on the map, we're supposed to go left. So I was like, are you sure? Because I swear to you, you said to me, we had to go right. And he was like, no, 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 it's left. And now we have to go back because it was right. And we've gone down a massive hill and we're gonna have to cycle up it again. And I'm so furious at him because I'm so done with hills. That is what we came here for. We are at the lakes. Oh my gosh, as if they're this high up in the mountains. I didn't imagine that could exist. Monkey with babies. <gasps> oh no. Monkeys. Food, we had a baby. Yeah, I was convinced that we'd have to go down, like into a valley after all this climbing to get to the lakes, but they're just like full on two big lakes in the, at the top of a mountain. Be one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like something out of an animation, like, or a movie. It's just like it, it should be in like Spirited Away or Castle in the Sky. So that hellish ride it's actually worth it because this is genuinely the most breathtaking thing I've ever seen in my life like I've never seen a view like that there's like the peak of the mountain the lake here and then the lakes over there and the camera really isn't picking it up I don't know why I guess this camera is not good enough quality but the light it's like I don't know it's like we're in the clouds like in the heavens because it's just the lighting and the clouds and Oh, it all reflects, it's beautiful. Isn't it like, um, I always forget the name of the director, but Spirited Away and uh, Castles in the Sky. From master filmmaker Hayao Miyazaki. Like it always, this reminds me of that, like the animation, it's just so beautiful. And I love his movies, but I have the most horrendous memory, so I never remember his name. Hayao Miyazaki. Even though his movies are like my favorite thing. It is a tough name. Hayao Miyazaki. <laughs> but like, I love Spirited Away and um, My Neighbor Totoro are like two of my favorite movies and the animation reminds me of this. Like it, just look at the lake and the reflection. It's just so right, sunny. Exposure. What I don't like is the amount of animal abuse here though. Look at this. Like what is that about? And, like tourists just lap it up. That's a sad thing. And like there's bats as well. <laughs> Bali's probably the worst place I've seen for animal cruelty like sit in in your face 
just like animals being used and abused everywhere you look. And this poor snake kept in a box all day. It's like unreal. Like just so tourists can have photos, but it's drugged up as well. It absolutely breaks my heart. Like yeah, it's insane torture. Never, ever, ever pay for something like this. It's disgusting. the temple I was I'm in a foul mood I, I'm never in I don't get in moods I'm not a moody person I just get it's not my favorite place in the world because there's just hundreds of tourists and I know that we're tourists too but like you might have noticed on our trips we don't do particularly touristy things and this is kind of like it didn't uh, be like this it didn't look like it in the photos no um, and Alex was like come on let's just go and we had to go down, down a massive hill, so we have to go back up again. And it's half one, and we haven't eaten, and I'm just a bit worried about the fact that we're not, probably not going to get back to like five, five or six p.m. And we haven't eaten anything, so I think we're probably going to have to eat something here. Um, why is this woman screaming? Just floating there. How do they do that? I think it's magic. This is nice. Mm, really peaceful. I've never seen so many people with selfie sticks in my life. Bali in general. <laughs> Just so many selfie sticks. I'm sorry I'm not happier to be here. It's very stunning and beautiful. But um, I can imagine if you'd, you'd gone through what we'd gone through today, you wouldn't be in the best mood either. I feel like a total celeb in Bali as well. They just asked me for a photo, I don't know why. And everywhere you go, people are like, hello, 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 hello. So you feel like a celeb here? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> we are like a foot taller than everyone and about 10 shades lighter, so I think that's maybe yeah. why. <laughs> Big and long. Big and long. There it is. <laughs> We found an all-you-can-eat buffet and I think this is going to put me in a better mood because there's loads, there's loads, basically just rice and vegetables, so ideal. I feel much better now. How do you feel? Like my tummy is going to burst. But we needed it. We needed some um, carbs and this was just, just the right sort of food, honestly. Um, but... I think we might switch the camera off because there's like no space on here and we just no we're just going home now so we'll probably well we'll let you know when we get home safe and sound and then that'll be oh yeah i think that'll be enough for today won't yeah it? i think i filmed <laughs> we filmed literally about 30 minutes of footage maybe 40 minutes so yeah we'll see you when we're, we're safe and sound in our nice lovely cozy villa
only have 47 seconds to say goodbye because this memory card's full. It's obviously bedtime. We've packed everything up. We're leaving Bali today. I don't know if we said that. We're leaving Bali tomorrow. And it's been a long day. It's been a very long day. It was quite an ordeal to have to pack up when we came home. But yeah, we're going to a secret location tomorrow. You might already know because I might have shared on Instagram, but some of you might not know if you don't follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, etc. So find out tomorrow where we're at. I'll tell them now. No, you won't. The secret location is...